In this video, we'll find the number of valence electrons for Ti, that's titanium, and titanium is a transition metal. So when we look at the periodic table for main group elements, it's pretty easy to find the number of valence electrons. If you're in group one, all of these have one valence electron. Group two, two valence electrons. But then we skip the transition metals here. And right here, this is titanium. So we've skipped titanium. Then we go over to the other elements, groups 13, through 18 have three, four, five, six, seven, and eight valence electrons. With the transition metals, it's a little more challenging, and the best strategy is to look at the electron configuration. So here's the electron configuration for titanium. And as we look at this, if we could put this in condensed notation, that would help us quite a bit. So the noble gas before titanium, that's argon, and this is the electron configuration right here for argon. So we could condense this, just write AR for all of that, and then this would be the condensed notation for titanium. So once we have the condensed notation, we're going to look at the electrons outside the noble gas core. So we have 3D2, 4S2. This represents the valence electrons for titanium. So we have 2 plus 2, we have 4 valence electrons for titanium. When titanium forms ions, when it bonds with other elements and it loses electrons, often it becomes Ti4+. When it does that, it's going to lose these electrons here. So we could just write 0 in for Ti4+. You'll also see Ti3+, in which case it would lose these two. So we write 0 in, and then this would lose 1 as well, so it would be 3D1. But the key to finding the number of valence electrons for titanium is write this condensed electron configuration and then whatever is outside that noble gas core, those will be your valence electrons. This is Dr. B with the number of valence electrons for Ti, titanium. Thanks for watching.